We're really, really honored to be compared to Netflix. I mean, we, we don't think we're going up against them. If, if it, you know, we, fought, we target the emerging world, we've launched in Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand. You know, we're up against piracy. That is our number one competitor. That's who we're trying to beat. That's who we're trying to eradicate. And, you know, piracy is in 95% of homes in our markets. Netflix is not. So, you know, piracy is free. This is what we're up against. We're not up against cable. We're not up against free to air. We are up against piracy. And, and, and it's, a, it's a huge battle. Well, you know, and, and, and we're proud to say in the 12 months since we've launched, you know, search trends for piracy are going down in a lot of our markets and search trends for iFlix are going up. So it's, it's going to be a long battle, and, but you know, we're very, very focused on being a better product than piracy, and, and that's all we think about. Oftentimes when I talk to tech companies, at least the startups who are just into the market like yours in a way, they're reluctant to talk about monthly active users, but you're actually quite happy to talk about that? Look, I mean, it, it's a number that fluctuates so much. I mean, we're pretty comfortable to say that right now in Southeast Asia, collectively in the markets we're launching, you know, we're on track to hit about 1.8 million paying active customers any day now. And look, we've only been live for 12 months. It's a figure we're happy with. Obviously, we'd love the figure to be more. But hey, 1.8 million people in Southeast Asia today are now willing to pay for content. You currently have 700 million people in Southeast Asia who do not pay for content. So anyone paying for content, we think that's a huge step forward. You're a company that's based in both Singapore and Malaysia, but what are the countries that are doing best for you right now since you launched just about a year ago, and where do you see you uh, moving next after there? Yeah, you know, uh, two countries stand out in my mind. It's, it's Indonesia and Philippines, and I'll tell you why they stand out. I mean, we've been, we've been one year in the Philippines. Based on our current trajectory, we are one year away in the Philippines from having more paying customers than the entire cable industry in the Philippines. In Indonesia, we only launched three months ago, we're 12 months away from having more paying customers in Indonesia than the entire cable industry in Indonesia. So what we're finding with iFlix is that, you know, within two years of launching in a market, we can surpass cable. So, it's, you know, you know, there's all this talk in America about, about is Netflix or Hulu cutting or, or a, a cord cutter product. You know, in our markets, it's not even about cord cutting. People, we are leapfrogging and going way beyond cable. And if you look at this, this market, if you look at Hulu and other players, they haven't even surpassed the number of cable and satellite subscribers, yet they've been around for five, six, seven, eight years. You know, in the Indonesian Philippines, we are 12 months away from overtaking the entire cable and satellite industry. So, I mean, for us, this is a standout that shows, you know, we are bringing to the market a great service that people want it's better than piracy unfortunately it's a little bit more expensive than piracy because piracy is free but hey we're on track and and it's look we love what we're doing and and, and the future's great